Uh, let's start with uh, Theresa May and Boris Johnson. Uh, seven hours on a flight together on the way back from uh, New York, as it is about. Oh, to be a fly on the wall. Super hashtag awkward, isn't it? <laughs> Having sat with Theresa one on one some years ago, and I wasn't in any trouble on that occasion, I have to say I didn't particularly want to repeat the experience because she's not very warm and chatty at the best of times. And I suspect that will be a rather silent seven hours. Well, you say that, but hasn't she got a lot more to talk about this time in terms of sort of exactly what Boris has been up to and what he's been playing? If I were Boris, I'd be strategically putting some headphones on and watching the in flight <laughs> entertainment. Apparently, though, he wasn't meant to be on the flight. <coughs> and it was her that encouraged him on so it would seem like a lovely opportunity to sort everything out wouldn't it no Kevin? absolutely she forced him to cancel a, a meeting on somalia he was going to fly back uh, later and she got him on they probably spent most of their time sleeping i suspect he snores so he might have been at the back in the economy we must <laughs> check she hasn't dropped him off over the atlantic at 25,000 feet we are assuming where the driver was as well they've quite landed yet that is worth a check uh, and i do think lucky she didn't book uh, uh, ryanair well she mightn't be here <laughs> but they they you probably need and they will have what half an hour an hour at most together and it will be very formal she doesn't do she doesn't do chit chat, she she doesn't do chit -chat. short yeah. amount of time because i'd imagine them sitting down as well and hammering this out, or at least sort of you know her talking about her grievances and Boris trying to get, get across what, what on earth he was thinking when he, no, when he I don't, uh, Theresa that. just doesn't do the Prime Minister doesn't do emoting like that I think she will be very short and to the point whatever conversation they have clearly a lot has happened in mm. the last few mm. days and what we've heard from Boris is constantly shifting you know is he gonna resign is he not gonna resign <coughs> it sounds as if why the does she just sack him she can't that's the point. You know, this is a very weakened prime minister. I'm not sure that anything that he's done is in any case quite meets the threshold for being fired. But she just doesn't have that room for manoeuvre. But it looks he like would be a nightmare his on comments the back have shifted her approach because <clears throat> we thought that the meeting, the cabinet meeting this morning where she's going to get everybody hopefully to agree her position, which will then deliver in Florence tomorrow. We understood that that has changed a bit because of Boris's comments. Is that right, in your view? <coughs> well, I think what will really happen is he'll be consulted now and he's been frozen out. And she'll use that cabinet meeting, I suspect, to, to allow a lot of people to have their say. If there's any criticism, it'll be very corded. There'll be no direct confrontations. And she'll have people around uh, her, 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 her toadies say it's very important we're all united and speak together. So we he's won quite... by playing up oh, his one. I think, it's he, worked, yeah. I think he's had some influence. Unquestionably, there will be. You know, she will have rewritten that speech in many ways to change the tone. It may not be the substance. He's remember how to give a lot of ground because he's accepting there's going to be a transitional deal, maybe three years when we're sort of half in, half out. We will be paying into the EU budget then. He, he didn't want that, so he's given ground too, and he stepped back from the ledge. It was him threatening to jump. She's not strong enough to, well, to Kevin, push him. We don't know that yet. I mean, mm. he might yet jump. And, uh, you know, we shouldn't be under any misconceptions here. When she makes a speech, it isn't going to please all the cabinet by any means whatsoever. And I think she'll be very conscious that he still, and there are, he is not alone, there are other ministers who could also resign if she doesn't strike the right tone and if she in any way gives ground on the things that they consider the most important. So it's a very, very vulnerable point his, for her. His career mm. has been sat, not resigning. And, and he, when push comes to shove, he, he's a bottler. So he won't do it. 